The state of Massachusetts and the city of Boston have developed a set of guidelines requiring all construction sites to comply with COVID-19 protocols. It's for your protection, it's for my protection. I'm not going onto a site if I don't see masks, if I don't see certain things in place, I'm not gonna be comfortable going onto your site. You're not gonna get the inspection, right. okay? It's common sense. Yeah. It's stuff you should be doing anyway, right? Yeah, I know jobs that have started up and someone got was tested positive and now that job shut down. Right. So, so this is everybody on the job site today. Yep, they're in this world. They all sign in, you have a logbook, your guidelines for COVID-19, your questionnaire, Everything's up to snuff. Well, it's tough because we go on these jobs and it's here, look at my phone, I have the plan here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to touch your phone. I want to look at something that I can read and on a piece Physical of paper. Time. Yep. And it should be posted. This has to match your, your plan. Okay, if you say hot water, hand washing station, we're going to want to see a hand washing station. So you have fresh water, yeah. waste water, and, and the, the pump. Yep. Yeah, the, the heating and the pump for the hot water. Yep. So this all you need is power. That's it. Electricity, yep. yep. On this job site, on each landing, they have signage and a hand sanitizer station. Workers are encouraged to sanitize their hands throughout the day. How are you scheduling your trades? Whether it's electrical, plumbing, laborers? We're gonna just stagger them. You know, okay. I have tile guys on five. I have flooring, wood flooring guys on two. Make sure the guys are on elbow to elbow. Yep. and make sure that all the trades understand the protocol. That, and so here you have two, two masons working, yep. social distancing, yep. PPE. This is the Dawa thermal scanning system. You have somebody here watching the cameras as, as the workers come through. Right. It's picked up digitally. Um, you can wear a helmet, correct? Correct. Helmet, um, face mask. Glasses. It'll still work, it'll still pick it up. So if there was someone that had an excessively high temperature. And then the alarm would sound. And the alarm would signal and the person would step to the side and then whatever the company's protocol is, they would then address the high temperature person. They could walk through normally yes. and not impede the, uh, the flow of the work. Correct. Each construction site is required to have a quarantine plan. That plan includes an isolation area or tent. If an employee shows signs, including a high temperature, they are required to report to this area and follow quarantine protocol set forth in their COVID-19 plan. The quarantine plan includes transport the patient to a healthcare provider, to remove all workers from affected area, to clean all areas of exposure, to trace connections back to all workers, and a return to work protocol. Part of your COVID-19 plan and protocol will require each job site to designate a break area. In that break area, you will have to observe social distancing. All trades during break will have to keep six feet apart while having a meeting, eating lunch, or making a phone call. Part of your COVID-19 protocol requires you to supply adequate bathrooms or porta potties These porta potties or bathrooms must be cleaned and sanitized regularly throughout the day. The City of Boston requires all projects COVID-19 safety plan to be uploaded to each existing permit job specific to that address. Please go to boston.gov permits to upload all required documentation. If you do not comply with these guidelines, you will not be allowed to continue construction work in the City of Boston. These guidelines ensure the safety and well-being of your workers and the surrounding community.